Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about this keyword in java programming so this keyword is used in order to refer to the current object inside a method or a constructor so guys we can easily access the current object using the this keyword inside a method or a constructor so for example this is the use case that is very important that is using this for ambiguity variable names so let's say we have a class that is my class and then it is having a instance variable that is int age and then we have a parameter as well which is getting passed and the parameter name we have provided as the age so as we can see age is equal to age so this is kind of a creating an ambiguity over here that's because the parameter name is also age and then the instance variable that we have provided is also age so what will be the output when we try to access this instant variable and we print this statement so guys let us understand this with the help of example so i'll just copy this and we will paste this in our eclipse ide so i'll just remove this previous lines of codes over here so as we can see over here what i will do is i will just paste this that is my class and then what we will do is we will create an object of this my class so i'll just copy this my class over here paste this over here and then we have the class object name that is class 1 followed by a new operator and then my class and then let's say we have the open and close brackets now guys as we have seen this my class is a constructor because it is having the same name as that of the class and it is expecting the parameter that is age so what we will do is we will provide the age over here as 21 now we are missing another method over here which will help us in order to access this age so what i will do is i will provide another method that is void display so we have display age so what this will do is it will just print the statement so i'll just print the statement over here so age is and then we have this age variable name that is this instance variable so guys what we will have to do over here is i will have to provide the object name followed by the display age method that we have created just now so let me just save this file and try running this code to see what happens so as we can see age is 0 so even though we are providing 21 as the age what is happening is this value goes to this parameter that is int age parameter inside this constructor and we are trying to set this age that is 21 to this age that is instance variable but guys there is an ambiguity that's because both these variable names are same so in this case what we are supposed to do is we have to use the this keyword so this keyword is nothing but it will try to access this object that is class 1 for which we are trying to access this instance variable so it will come on the left hand side so what i will do is i will provide this keyword followed by dot so followed by dot and then we have the age variable so i'll just remove this so this is the way guys that we provide the this keyword so what this will do is it will refer to the object that has called this particular method that is my class method was called by using this object that is class 1 and for that object the age parameter that is the age instance variable need to be set so now guys we have the clarity that the left hand side is the instance variable that is this age and right hand side is nothing but it is this parameter for which the value is coming when we call this constructor using this value as an integer so guys let us save this file and try running this code previously the age was 0 now let us see what will be the output i'll just run this code over here so as we can see now age is coming as 21 and this is the value that we were providing let me just change the value to let's say we have the age is 24 let me just save this file and try running this code so age is 24 now and guys in this way this is the importance where we can use the this keyword in order to refer to a particular object that has called this particular constructor and in order to remove the ambiguity whenever there are two variables with the same name so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is recursion example in java programming so stay tuned